Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, dear friends. Zane Baker here in the house, energy worker and transformational coach. And my mission in life is to help empower my brothers and sisters to let go of fears, doubts, and all of the low vibes that they might be in and welcome the new vibration of abundance, of joy, of transformation, of tranquility. And I help people do that by applying things like meditation, energy work, transformation work, angel work into their lives so they could really live life to the fullest and not let things control them or events or people, but they take charge of their life. So without further ado, let's dive into today's video. Today I have another reading for you guys and this is a reading for everyone who's interested in knowing what is the state of vibration they're in right now. There's a lot has happened over the past uh, few months. June is here and um, we all want to know like what is the new energy or what is the energy that we're in right here right now so we can actually advance from this stage. Now guys, I did an energy update for the month of June, so if you haven't caught that up, please check the card to the top right, right here in this video, or the link underneath this description of this video. That's where I put the links to any videos that you might want to enhance the energy and the growth that you might be getting from this current video. So in the energy update, I explained four things that uh, spirits want us to know about so we can have a fruitful and successful June. Now, for today, we actually going to study your vibration, your energy, your state of being. So there are three cards. I'm going to put them on the screen. I want you to select one of these three cards, either card number one or card number two or card number three. Regardless of which card you selected, the message is more of a cohesive story that builds on one another. But the card you selected is the card that speaks specifically to your state of vibration. So take a look at the cards. Let's let's do that together. Let's put our hand on our heart. Take a deep breath just to center ourselves and bring ourselves to the divine present moment. And then let it go. Now with your hands on your heart, I want you to ask your higher self, your divine self, your your God self, what is my state of vibration right here right now? What is my state of vibration right here, right now? And just be open to receiving the information as they come to you. Now open your eyes and select the card of your choosing. Select the card of your choosing. All right, let's begin. For those who selected card number one, it is natural for my body to be well. It is natural for my body to be well. So, for anyone who has selected this card, I get the feeling that some of you who selected card number one might be in a state of vibration where you're concerned for your well-being, you're concerned for your health, you may be concerned for the health of your family, your co-workers, uh, your school teachers, your uh, friend and community members, and if you are concerned, rest assured that worry and doubt is not going to fix the situation. Worrying if... You're going to have good health if your family going to be well is not going to fix the situation. It actually will, will make it worse. So what I'm encouraging you to do today, if you are a person who selected this card and you're concerned for the state of well-being for you and your family members and the people that you cherish and love, and it could be even the entire race of humanity, because there's a lot going on right now and the safety and the well-being of many people are not certain then pray and pray not from the space of like god please help this situation fix itself it's, it's getting ridiculous that's not a prayer that is an affirmation that the situation is not good if you really want to pray and maybe let's do it together guys put your hand in a prayer mudra or put it on your heart and imagine the situation in it's an ideal state you're healthy, your family are healthy, your friends and community are healthy, the stores are wide open, the streets are beautiful, people are traveling safely, and schools are back to normal, the hospitals are empty because people are well. And imagine that vibration and then at the end of it, thank God, thank you the universe, thank spirit, thank your higher self for the manifestation of that ideal situation. 
So it goes something like that. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, God, for this beautiful manifestation of positive well-being for myself and my family member. It feels so good to see us all healthy and well, to see people traveling again, to see people going back to work and earning and living and loving. How beautiful is that? Oh my goodness, I feel so good. Oh my goodness, I'm so grateful. Oh my goodness, I feel the goodness coming to me and everyone around me and I'm sending it 10,000 times through the ether to everyone who needs it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you, thank you, I love you. Take a deep breath and let it out. And you just performed what I call a heart-centered prayer. It's a prayer that is centered in the goodness that you seek, not the lack of it. So for those who selected card number one, if you're concerned about the well-being of yourself or your family members or your community or the globe, pray. Worrying and concern is not going to fix the situation. And make sure that you select positive thoughts. If you look at this uh, picture here, the person is sound asleep, very happy, very joyous. So maybe if you're concerned for your well-being, maybe make sure that you get your enough sleep, that you eat good food, that you stay in alignment, and you not let things control you. That's the beauty of it. It is okay for you to feel well in your body. So that's card number one. And now let's see what people who selected card number two has in store for them. My desires and beliefs are only thoughts. My desires and beliefs are only thoughts. Guys, when I see this, uh, this card, I see a person who's thinking a lot. I see a person who is in a state of constant thinking. If you look, her eyes are closed and she's just thinking. And uh, also it gives the hint that maybe meditation could be a source of inspiration and healing. So if your mind is overthinking, maybe meditation could be a source of healing. And guys, if you're new to meditation, check out my Grateful Morning Meditation. It's a meditation that's been seen and downloaded by thousands of people. And it'll help you train this monkey mind that might run the show every now and then to not be as reactive and to center yourself in the energy of love and gratitude. So if you are concerned or your thoughts are just running wild, get that meditation and start applying it. The second thing I'm getting from this card also, guys, is if you notice, uh, there are three three main colors that are kind of the dominant colors beside the purple of the sky. There's yellow, there's orange, and there's red on her cheeks. And these are the three colors of the three first chakras. And these are the chakras that are connected to our physical manifestation. We start with the base chakra at the base of the spine. The color of that chakra is red. It's the chakra of belonging. It's the chakra of survival, of security, of being well. And uh, when that chakra is zapped, that's when our energy in those areas get zapped too. And with this coronavirus and the state of affairs not very certain, many of us have our lower chakra, the base chakra, zapped. That's why I'm wearing the color red today. I wanted to energize myself. That's what I felt inspired to wear. Now, the second chakra, the sacral chakra, it is the second chakra. It is right around the navel area. And that's the chakra of manifestation, of creative work, of creation, of vitality, of fertility, of bringing to, to fruition babies, projects, things. So it's like literally giving birth to things comes from that chakra. And that chakra is orange. And that's the second dominant color in this card. Uh, so maybe wear the color orange or eat oranges um, or just be around crystals that are the color orange. My, my favorite one uh, would be a, an orange calcite or a citrine. These would be two crystals that I would definitely work with if I want to charge the sacral chakra. And guys, I'll put some, some resources underneath this video with links of specific crystals that I use to charge these chakras. And then the third chakra, the solar plexus is right here. It's your gut feeling. Anytime you have a gut feeling, it's actually your third chakra speaking to you saying, hey, take back your power, be in charge, be responsible. Don't let things control you. You are always in control. 
and that one is yellow that chakra is yellow and for the third chakra one of my favorite ways to charge that chakra and really makes it fully beautifully circulating yellow orb is standing out in the sun it's best to expose a large part of your body to the sun so guys take your shirt off girls be in bikinis or be in swimsuits where the majority of your body will be covered with the sun and also guys practice safety sun is damaging it's good but also damaging so make sure that you wear your sunscreen and stuff like that now guys remember i'm no doctor this is not recommendation that i am telling you to do this is just things to inspire you and help you live life to the fullest so that's the uh, reading for the second group or card number two and now let's go and check out card number three let's see what card number three is all about my financial decline will not elevate the improvised my financial decline will not elevate the improvised wow so this tells me there are some money worries for some of you guys or uh, also I, I am sensing that some of you are guilty some of you who uh, especially during this pandemic you might have earned some extra money or things were going well for you like your job wasn't eliminated and you were staying at home and working and making money and part of you is feeling guilty like there are so many people who are not making money and I am staying at home making money and if you are feeling guilty please know that you feeling guilty and having an improvised mindset is not going to help those who are in a state of need because guys the the consciousness of humanity from the day we were born to 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 this date has always centered around the topic of uh, rich versus poor more uh, versus less and that created an improvised mindset in the minds of others including those who have money unless you grew up in a really like wealthy family with a wealth consciousness many people who come from wealth backgrounds once they start to go out to the world and start to see that other people don't have the wealth that they or their family have they feel guilty and guys don't feel guilty if you have more than you need instead of feeling guilty feel empowered to help those who are in need i helped so many more people when i had money than when i was broke even though i had the guilt mentality because i came from a war-torn country we lived our entire life within our means we never had really fancy stuff growing up we always had secondhand clothing secondhand books secondhand everything i honestly never had a brand new thing because everything was either handed out to me or we bought it from a secondhand store. So that that created like the the improvised mindset within me. But I realized when I started to work and earn money and I started to earn really handsome income that me holding on to those ideas about the past and the improvised thinking is not going to help others. And I started to ask myself, if God has blessed me with this much money, what can I do with it? And that's when I started my philanthropy work. I started donating to Doctors Without Borders because these doctors, they go all over the world to help people who are in a state of need. And I donate to other uh, organizations that I believe in, like the Humane Society and many other organizations that are doing some immaculate work out there. Um, and that's what I started to do with my money instead of thinking about the improvised thinking. So I'm getting the sense that some of you are either concerned because you don't have money and that's why the card about money coming to you or you're earning money and you're feeling a little guilty like, wow, during this pandemic, a lot of my friends lost their jobs and here I am earning money. Don't feel guilty. Feel blessed. And if you really want to make a difference from the earnings that you made, donate help those in need especially those around you you can donate to big organizations which i do all the time but at the same time i actually i am on the pulse of my friends and family and always in the know of what's happening in their lives so i can really help them so i can really help them so that's the third message wow guys so all three messages if you notice they are they create a story so the first one is about our health and well-being the second one is about our thinking. And the third one is about our state of money. So all of them, all three cards are actually talking about the physical realm. 
How are we doing health-wise? How? What are we thinking? What are we doing? What are we feeling? Our money situation. These are all things that are centered in the physical realm. So this reading is very uh, lower chakras, three lower chakras. So maybe I'll put some information down here about meditations for uh, uh, charging those lower chakras so you can really bring your chakras together. And to tie the reading together, I pulled an affirmation card for the collective, for everyone. If you selected card number one, card number two, card number three, uh, this is the affirmation to keep you going throughout the week. And guys, just a quick emphasis. Many times people message me after they watch the videos and they're like, Zane, we loved card number two. That was the card we selected, but other cards resonated with us. Is that okay? Absolutely, guys. Absolutely. The reading is energy reading. It's not based in time, even though I mentioned it's the beginning of a new month. It's not based in time. If you watch this and it's like, let's say, October 2020, just know that your spirit guided you to this specific reading, this specific message, because there is something in there for you. Don't let timestamps, when it was created, really control the energy that you just got gifted with. So now the affirmation card says, I allow myself to be happy with all aspects of my physical being. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. How beautiful is that? Like this, this card really signifies the three cards we just talked about. And this is how beautiful it is. Like this, this, uh, this affirmation card is fitting for all of the three cards that were selected. For the first one, I allow myself to be happy in all aspects of my well-being. The first card people selected is feeling well in their body. So this is a great reminder. The second card, my desire and beliefs are only thoughts. And if thoughts, if the thoughts you have are not very positive, then let this be the dominant thought. Let this card be the dominant thought. I allow myself to be happy with all aspects of my well-being and physical being. And then, of course, for my people who selected card number three, I allow myself to be happy with all aspects of my physical being. When you're happy in your physical being, you vibrate at a happy vibration, higher vibration, and you start to attract better vibration, which will affect your finances. Anytime I am actually in a really good financial state is when I'm feeling good. I'm in the flow, I'm creative, I am loving my life, loving my family, loving my friends. And anytime I'm on the downside of it, it's actually when I'm in my head and I'm thinking too much and I'm worried about certain things. So be sure, guys, that you don't let worries and doubts and things like that really uh, cloud your, your judgment and your thinking. So, all right, my lovelies, I really hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please give this video a like, a comment, and a share. Also, in the comments, let me know which one of these uh, cards resonated with you the most. And if the entire reading resonated, then put hashtag resonate. And if you are new to meditation and you really want to harness the power of meditation, make sure you get your hands on the Grateful Morning Meditation. And now we'll conclude this session and I'll see you guys again next video. Till then, may the rest of your life be the best of your life and namaste.